Stand by. Well, November is Bladder Health Month, and therefore an opportunity to dive into the seldom discussed topic of peeing. Everybody does it, but not everyone's experience are mundane. A new survey of roughly 1,600 American women, 18 years of age and older, brings bathroom preferences and experience to the forefront. So joining us today to talk a little bit more about this topic, how we can address it and how we talk about it, is Dr. Adam Chuku. You think I would have that by now? Dr. <laughs> e, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. And comedian me. Ellen Karras, thanks for joining us, ladies. How are you? Yeah, thank you. Great. Good, thank thanks. you. So, Dr. E, I'll start with you. What uh -huh. exactly is overactive bladder, and how prevalent is it among women? Yeah, so overactive bladder is a chronic condition that is characterized by the sudden and strong urge to urinate, uh, frequent urination, getting up at, at night multiple times uh, to urinate, and also leaking on the way to the bathroom. It is more common than most people think. About 46 million Americans report having some symptoms of overactive bladder, and over 30 million are very bothered by it. So with those kinds of numbers, why do so many women with OAD just kind of learn to cope instead of maybe talking to their healthcare practitioner? Yeah, and that's a question that I ask my patients all the time. We know, um, according to the Urology Care Foundation, that women on average wait about six and a half years before they come in to see their physician. And men are also affected by this. They wait over four years to come in to be evaluated. And the number one answer I typically get is embarrassment. A lot of patients are bothered by uh, are embarrassed by the symptoms or they think it's simply part of the aging process and that there isn't a lot that they can do about it and so they just kind of learn to live with it. So that can be devastating but we all probably need to take the lighter side uh, approach to <laughs> be able to deal with this and on that Alan Karras has a take for us particularly on the survey that you conducted recently. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, it was a survey of 1,600 women to find out what lengths women will go to to relieve themselves. Some of the findings were that m most women will use the men's room as opposed to wait on a really long line uh, for the ladies' room because it just takes too, way too long. Some women, more than half of the women actually, will go into a store, purchase a random item just as an excuse so they can use the restroom of that store. And 25% of women will go into a hotel, pretend they're a guest so they can use the restroom. That's how embarrassed they are. I've definitely been in a few of those scenarios myself. Anything else crazy um, that the survey revealed about when and how often we might actually, what lengths we might go to to use the bathroom? Well, here's one. Some women, they have to go so bad, th they can't wait to find a toilet, so they'll go someplace else. Like if they're driving and the rest stop is way too far, they'll stop on the side of the road, which is why you should bring a lot of tissues and antibacterial wipes. Always, always carry those in your purse, ladies. <laughs> always. <laughs> have to admit, <laughs> been there. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be ashamed. We won't judge. <laughs> 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 so, Dr. E, just kind of bouncing back to you, yeah. honestly, how do you, how do you know when to seek treatment from your doctor? Yeah, so when you're bothered, um, when you notice that your urinary symptoms are starting to affect your quality of life, you're scheduling your life around your, your bladder, you're scheduling vacations and the, you know, availability of bathrooms based on your bladder symptoms. Those are times when you should go ahead and come and, and see your physician and uh, discuss the multiple uh, therapies that are available. Um, we also have some more resources and information um, at stopstalling.com. We have a um, doctor's discussion guide that you can download and fill out and it'll help you to kind of talk about uh, the symptoms that you experience when you come in to see your doctor for evaluation. Ladies, so thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for bringing awareness yep. um, to this condition that affects so many Americans. And as an aunt, right now I want you guys both to say, 
Hi, Melissa. Thanks for having us. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Thanks, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. And then I'll count you down, and I want on three, two, one, I want you to say, it's good to see you, Melissa. Thanks. Three, two, one. It's, it's good, good to, to see you, you Melissa. Melissa. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> Perfect. That, that thanks, was guys. A, that was okay, a stand by. <laughs>